Hey guys, just wanted to, um, happy new year. Um, sorry, I've been a little inactive, you know, given most of the shows are on hiatus and I just figured I needed time to, you know, recharge between having to balance work with the videos. Um, but I'm going to start being active again. Uh, starting with our video, starting with the, my reaction video to the gifted season two, episode 11. Um, trying to remember the title. I think it's M Memento is the title. Um, so last, so what happened in the last couple of episodes, like the mid-season finale and the mid-season premiere, um, you know, the inner circle caught um, Rebecca, put her in some kind of chamber to isolate her. Andy decided to break her out. She was pissed about being imprisoned by the inner circle, just like she was imprisoned at the asylum. Um, so she tried to, you know, so she tried to convince Andy to help her kill the rest of the inner circle. But Andy ended up intervening with her powers and ended up like knocking Rebecca to the ground. And she accidentally snapped her neck on a pillar. Um, Andy was guilt ridden, but, you know, Lorna tried to give him a pep talk and saying that she was just a product of, um, of you know, her parents turning her in, being tortured at the asylum in order to prevent somebody from, you know, be going through the same fate, they ended up um, trying to convince Andy to avenge her and honor her memory by basically going on this mission, which involved breaking into a facility um, that that they were trying to, you know, that was basically trying to basically just blow up the facility, which powered all the power dampening collars for all the mutants who were locked or incarcerated all across the country. Um, Mutant Underground, um, Mar you know, Eclipse, Thunderbird, and Blink, you know, were, you know, actually captured a guy who was, um, I guess running the facility, and Faye was sent to assassinate, you know, assassinate him and presumably the rest of the group to prevent them from finding out about the plan. Fate ultimately failed at, but they, but it, but they ended up being ambushed by the purifiers and had to go on the run. Except John, um, Thunderbird, who was um, eventually captured by by them, and the an, an inner circle ended up succeeding in their mission, but and you know there was like six, I think like thousands of mutants broke out of prisons across the country, but that was kind of put on the back burner for the fact that the. Um, I mean, underground, desperate to save, um, um, desperate to save John, and because they lacked resources, because you know the mutant undergrounds, um, different, all the different cells are kind of just like, you know, kind of ceasing contact with the current group they were following, that they were forced to go to Lorna and Andy and kind of just reunite, like this old times, like in season one, you know, with um, Andy being happy to see. His Andy and um, Caitlin and Reed all happy to be together again. Um, Lauren was less reluctant because she was still mad at Andy nearly killing her. And, you know, Andy learned about his dad having powers. Um, and Marcos and Lorna had the hardest time getting along until they had to get some until it had to blink had to be the voice of reason and tell them to put their grudge aside. And they were able to break into the compound and stage an escape. And John was trying to convince Jace Turner that, you know, that Andy and Lorna had defected and that the inner circle was acting on their own. He started to believe he started to believe him until he saw Andy and Lorna and just thought um, John was lying to buy time and ended up shooting several rounds into his chest and almost killed him. If he had a, you know, but he ran out of bullets and the pure purifiers were attacked and forced to flee because of the break in. And um, Reed and Caitlin seeing their son nearly kill a guy who was trying to kill Lauren and talking and going on this rhetoric about, you know, people like the purifiers and other human sh purifiers shouldn't be allowed to breathe, or breed, or exist kind of made them realize like their son, how much their son has changed. And Caitlin being more determined to take down the underground just for the sake of getting her son back. 
Um, Marcos and Lorna shared a kiss, um, showing that um, Lorna still cared for Marcos in spite of being on opposing sides. And... Yeah, so I guess we're going to fight. I don't know. I, it was a little odd. I, I, a little odd they didn't really deal with the, um, that cliffhanger or the fallout of all those mutants breaking out of prison, but I'm assuming they're going to start dealing with it now. They just had to resolve that plot thread of, you know, rescuing John. So I'm looking forward to seeing where, how the, basically how the plot thick. Right, they're mass murderers. How do you think nations are founded? You took down that Trask plane, you should understand. No, I... I understand collateral damage. But the thousands of people on that ship, they were innocent? Wait, she was pissed at Rebecca for doing honest, the same folks, crap. That's exactly what they are, animals. They're stalking the our hell? neighborhoods, our streets. Membership in the Purify... And you decided that I didn't get to be there when Dawn was born. And then you decided to give her away. And then you decided to kiss me out of nowhere. And then leave again. Enough. Lorna, enough. Look, I'm not here to talk about us, Marcos. I'm here because I need your help. Please. I know how you feel. I know you hate me right now. It's Reba, okay? She's planning something, something terrible. Seriously? What, your, uh, your race war isn't turning out like you'd hoped? came from the Ignavis cruise ship massacre. They murdered thousands. I knew that a mutant homeland would mean sacrifice. But I was willing to kill or die for that dream. But there are lines. There have to be. Marcus, these new recruits, they killed families. Children. Okay, I'm sorry. How I treated you was wrong. And if you don't want to forgive me, fine, don't. But you help me, you help me, Marcos Diaz. You help me because you are too good of a man to let people die just because I suck at love. Hey, you can't go up there. Those kids haven't done anything wrong. No, no. You better hope your power's faster than a bullet because I will shoot you. Don't do anything stupid. We just have a few questions. Terror attack here, okay? So you can't even apologize. I mean, you love pointing out everyone else's flaws when you went behind my back to John to talk about me in this place. Damn, you hurt me. And him. I'm sorry, Clarice. You know, I've got my own issues. This whole thing with Lona, I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling to make sense of it. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Pain, right? But yeah, your pops was like my hero when I was a kid. Now that dude, that dude was an OG. Yeah. You probably knew him better than I did, but thanks. So, what's Riva got you doing? A Sentinel Services had... Do you want to know the secret to my long and illustrious career? As long as I get paid, I don't ask any questions. you while these muties terrorize our neighborhood what are you talking about are you blind there are mutants out on the street right now and you're in here pointing your guns at innocent humans i'm 
sorry. I am. <laughs> it's your ex, isn't it? The one you told me about, you still have feelings for her? Be that angry at someone you love. It doesn't take strength to hate someone. It takes strength to forgive them. Mm. Is something I can give you. Just tell me what I want to know. We can both move on. I swear, day. I don't know anything. Then why did you run? Because you purifiers. Y'all like the clan. My granddaddy didn't need a reason to run from the clan. Neither did yours. Oh, now he sees the parallels. Kid, this isn't about hate. I don't have a problem with mutants if they're following the law. I don't. I just. Hey. What happened? We need an ambulance here now! Somebody call an ambulance! Chest, that doesn't just happen. I was afraid for my life. He came at me, and I, I... There's blood all over the back of his chair, Ted. Like he was sitting down. Chase, I don't, I don't know what to say. How'd he come at you if he was sitting down? I'm gonna be a cop in prison. Do you know what that means? Oh, for fuck's sake, do the right thing. You lost a kid. Did you see anything or not? In the room, I saw the kid. Looking like he was ready to attack. And Officer Wilson stood his ground. I treated you terribly. I just want you to be safe. All I ever wanted for the place for us. You, me, the dawn. And I know, I know you think I gave up on you. I understand why. But why you have to know? You have to know that I never, never did. We're talking about an incident today where our citizen militia had to stop a dangerous mutant by force. Folks, this wasn't even... Saving those kids. <sighs> Grace would be proud of you. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe I'd... I'm gathering the regional leaders of the underground for a meeting. W when? <sighs> We're working out the details. John, I should have listened to you in Philadelphia. You're right. The underground is collapsing. We can't let that happen. I'm calling to tell you. Gather your people. Be ready. And if you ever come after my family again. Oh my God. There will be consequences. And if you uh, talk creepy. to anyone. What? That's Benedict Ryan from Hawk News, the anti-mutant crusader. What is Reva doing with Benedict Ryan? Okay, I was wondering if Reva was going to be that person Reva was going to meet up with, going to be a, like a purifier or something. But I mean, 
I guess it wasn't far off. I mean, Benedict Ryan just is supporting the, I guess, is a member and supporting the purifiers. Um, I have no idea what to make of it. I mean, it's a hell of a twist. Not sure what to make of it. Um, so, I don't know. So they exchanged something like information or documents. So is Reva just like manipulating him to like, Like, maybe, like, maybe in exchange for providing, like, maybe she's, like, kind of using Benedict. There's some kind of deal where Benedict provides, like, spreads fear and, you know, publicity. Fear about mutants and mutants that, um, we're going to capitalize on the, plub, on the publicity. I don't know why I can't say that. The plub of all the notoriety and... I guess it just uses to capitalize on it to, I don't know, galvanize the inner circle and have humans fear them. I, like maybe she doesn't, maybe she doesn't give a damn about the cause at all. Maybe it's just all like, it's all like a farce and exchange for like some money or damn, I, hey, I'm lost. I'm, I'm trying to go with some theories here. I'm spitballing, but I'm just kind of flabbergasted as to what could be going on and why they could be working together at all. Um, kind of creeped out by um, what's happening with Lauren. It seems like, you know, looking into the history of the Fenris twins seems to have some kind of seductive power. I mean, Reed pointed out that um, it, it had that almost had that kind of effect on on um, Andy Andy is used to be having this kind of effect on her I guess, especially because she like dreamt about um, her great aunt's murder and maybe it's like a some kind of I don't know psychic connection with them even though they're dead somehow but i don't know i just feel all i know is i got take from that is that um lauren i guess like lauren basically just reed has a right to be concerned about um lauren and and i guess it looks like they real you know marcos and and lauren are finally realizing that their love for each other never truly died and that was kind of a beautiful scene where they were like, a, basically just hooking up and had a little, like surrounded by the aurora, which is co like kind of like that flashback from back in season one. Um, yeah, so yeah, I guess this the clue doing the whole like star cross lovers angle in a sense. Um, But yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of like surprised, you know, about Riva. You know, first she was against, you know, about to sense mass murders because she feel like it would hurt their cause. Now she's all for it because, like, she condoned because she scolded Rebecca for killing all these people at the bank and that it was going to make them look like terror terrorists and give the humans give humans can can fodder to hate mutants and fear them, but for the wrong reason. But not for the reasons she was hoping, but at the same time, it was like, and now it's like she's has no problem with it, and maybe it's something to do with this deal with, um, Benedict Ryan, and yeah, so I don't. Yeah, that's just that's good. Yeah, I'm just. I guess I'll wait to find out to make heads or tails of what that whole thing was about. You know, I'm, and like I said, Jace Turner is just kind of getting in my nerves with like every time he seems to have some kind of epiphany um, about what he's doing or second thoughts, he's just, you know, dot, just take like a nosedive into doubling down and committing to it and just saying, you know, screw my convictions and moral compass. And it seems like this kind of this like recurring, it seems like this kind of like 
it feels like it's getting kind of repetitive because he was kind of doing this kind of arc in season one and just got kind of repetitive and I don't know, maybe the fact that, you know, a kid was a kid was shot that maybe it will like maybe it'll finally come to his senses. I'm not getting my getting too excited about that, but I don't know. It is. I mean, it's it's setting the idea that you know maybe it might actually stick because it's not like it. This ended with him saying it's like, oh, I'm. We had the opportunity to like do the right thing, and then doesn't you know doesn't do it doesn't have any remorse for it. This time he he lied to the cops about what really happened and had like general remorse for it and it ended with him having being remorseful and thinking like what the hell am I doing? But it's like the same thing happened in like. I don't know, it was, like, episode maybe, like, two or three. Like, his first episode in, like, season two, where it's, like, he decided to give up his crusade, but then the next episode he was, like, he doubled down and he doubled down and was more than ready to dive headfirst into this hunt for mutants. So, again, I had to wait till next week to see how it plays out. But overall, it was, like, a really solid, you know, this is a really powerful, like, solid episode. It's really, it's really just, I think we're finally building up momentum to like it's like it's kind of like final cl building up to the climax and the ending to um season two i think there's like five more episodes left in the season and i'm kind of liking where it's going and where it's, and what's building towards um and you know this whole like secret meeting might be the way to sort of like i guess um you know maybe the key they taking down the inner circle demor demoralizing the we can the cause of both the inner circle and the purifiers in one foul swoop. But um, anyway, guys, what do you think of the episode? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like my video, if you like my video, like, share, and subscribe. I will hopefully be able to get um, in the next couple of days. I'm trying to get, I'm hoping to upload my reactions to the Black Lightning mid season finale, as well as maybe do some reviews on you know Titan season one and a few movies I went to see over the last couple of weeks. And I will. I'll be in touch and I'll keep talking to you guys soon. Take care.